One of our other viewers asked a question about nipping and biting because we did a short, if you haven't seen our short video, you can go watch our short video about nipping and biting. So what causes the nipping and biting to start with? Typically nipping and biting is um, a product of puppy play. So <laughs> right. when a puppy plays with another puppy, they go over and they bite them. And that puppy then in kind um, either says, ouch, that hurt too much and I don't wanna play with you and they go hide or the game is on and everybody's running and playing and having a great time. Um, puppies don't come actually knowing bite inhibition. So this is something that we have to teach them how well, to do. Well, and certain breeds are more dispossessed, are dispossessed. <laughs> <laughs> Disposed. <laughs> they might be possessed. Yep, they could be. Um, to having, to doing that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Herding breeds are really notorious for nipping herding and Herding breeds love to like nip and um, bite at your heels. Terriers. Yes. Another ones that are really difficult are dogs that were bred to carry things in their mouths. Mm. They are very, very mouthy and they don't realize that their puppy teeth hurt. And so um, those would be <laughs> breeds that tend to be a little more mouthy than others. So the best thing that I can tell you is anytime your puppy accidentally or on purpose touches your skin with their teeth that you scream, ouch, at the top of your voice. So it's going to sound something like, ow! <laughs> and they, start, they get startled. Yeah. And what oh that God. does is it startles them. They sit back and they go, oh. Plus, it also mimics the sound that another litter mate might make if they bit too hard. Right. Then the next step is disconnect from the puppy. So take your hands and put them away. Take your feet, be still. Count to 10 to 15 to yourself, and then very slowly reconnect back with the puppy again. See if that isn't enough to get them to stop. Sometimes get that distance. it is, yeah. sometimes it's not. And you may have to do it several times. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, yep. to get for them to get the idea across and make that connection that mm -hmm. they shouldn't be doing this. Right. So, right. so um, if that doesn't work, then the next suggestion that I have for you is put your puppy away. Sometimes puppies get overstimulated. Mm -hmm. And if they're overstimulated, it's just like um, a baby that a mother can't soothe. They just cry, 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 cry. So puppies get overstimulated. They get really, really active. Maybe they're running around being crazy puppies. Um, put them in a crate or put them in an exercise pen. An exercise pen is typically made out of either plastic or metal, and it looks like a big circle. Um, and you enclose one end of it with um, little snaps yeah. to, to, to make a big circle out of it. But put your puppy in an X pen and give them a chance to kind of relax and and chill out a little bit. The basic thing, the basic premise is to make the disconnect. Yes. So that they are like, well, hey, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll get the, so now what if you have an older dog that's biting? Maybe one that's a couple of years old that you got from a rescue or something. You know, um, I'm dealing with somebody right now that's got an older dog that has these problems and it's because they weren't dealt with as a puppy. So go back to what I'm telling you, scream like a mashed cat because they understand <laughs> that ow means that hurts, don't do that anymore. Right. Disconnect from the dog. Um, tell the dog one time and then make sure that there's consequences for it. Now consequences is not a random act of violence. <laughs> what a consequence is- Do not is, be violent with your dog. Right, so no hitting, no, you know, none of that. But a consequence could be, um, you bit me, I told you not to do that, you bit me a second time you're going um, in your little X pen and you're gonna have some time out, absolutely. I wouldn't use a crate for punishment though, would you? Um, you know, here's the thing. I got grounded a lot when I was a little girl <laughs> and it never changed how I felt about my room. No. If That's you're true. struggling with your pet not liking the crate, then yes, it's gonna cause problems. Yeah. But if your dog already is, um, liking their crate and they sleep in it on a regular basis, then that's not going to cause problems. Just a timeout. It's just a timeout. Yeah. It's, um, here you go in your crate. Here's something to do. You need to relax a little bit. I'm going to give you 30 minutes and then I'll bring you back out again. Um, it's when you teach the negative with the crate training and this <laughs> is not supposed to be negative. Right, 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 right. The more positive you can make your training, the more receptive the dog's going to be to it. Positive does not equal treats though, guys. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Positive means that you're praising the dog, that you've got a happy tone of voice, that the dog's tail's wagging, and that they're present and in the moment with you. 
Yeah. Treating can cause a whole, can create a monster. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. I've done that myself. Yeah, I've done that. I did that with my first dog. I was like, ooh, positive training. And I did all this food. And what I had was this little megalomaniac that refused to, to work unless there was so food there involved. Was food. Yeah. There was food. Yeah. No She's food. like, no food, no sit. No food, no focus. No food, no heal. <laughs> Not going to do but, it. But you, and you don't want to reward the nipping or biting. Right by giving them something special, mm -hmm. but you want to put them somewhere where they're disconnected. Mm -hmm. yep. So. yep, yep, yep. So try those things and see if that doesn't help. If um, you're still struggling, please reach out. I'd be happy to talk to you about some other ideas that, that might be helpful for you. Um, each case can be a little bit different depending on the circumstances that surround it. Um, right, and if you're watching- Don't give in. If, yeah, and if you're watching this video, mm -hmm. you can contact Noel directly and she can help you work through the issue with your dog. Yep. So, you know, make sure that you keep that in mind.